Hello, this is Dumont, back for another toy review. This time it's going to be from G.I. Joe, the live action movie, Cobra Commander. So as you can see, he comes with his own uh, little stand right here, and it says his name, Cobra Commander. Uh, this is his, uh, what, what is this, his coat, right? I took it off um, because I heard that you could take it off, and uh, it wasn't easy, so... You know, I, I took it off because I do like him without the coat. Uh, but it's nice that it came with it, and I'm very glad that it has the option to uh, to remove it. Okay, uh, this is his other weapon here. It's like some kind of a, a nano missile launcher. It's like this uh, this uh, see-through, glowy-looking thingy. It doesn't glow in the dark or anything, but it's like this humongous uh, rocket launcher type thing. And uh, which is kind of strange, you know, you don't expect Cobra Commander to be uh, using something like that. Um, but I am glad that they gave him his uh, a weapon that's based off of the old Cobra Commander's weapon. If you can see right here, this gun is uh, the old style Cobra Commander gun, and I'm I'm very happy that they did that. Uh, for instance. Another figure that I was thinking of getting was Destro, and he got totally, totally gypped because they gave him all these new weapons, and, uh, you know, it's what happened to his old gun, the Destro signature gun, you know, they took that away. Another thing about Destro, um, I was really contemplating getting Destro, you know, that's a character that I like very much. Uh, the problem was, I mean, he is not an improvement of the old figure, he looks worse. Whereas to this Cobra Commander here, honestly, if you compare this design to the original Cobra Commander figure, this one is far better looking, by far. I mean, he looks awesome. He looks like, he, he you know, his face you can see is like this distorted underneath this plastic mask, and it's something that you would expect uh, Jason's face from Friday the 13th to look like. So, in other words, he looks like he belongs in a horror movie. He looks like he'd be one of the uh, Hellraisers, you know? I mean, one of the Cenobites in Hellraisers. I mean, just awesomeness, okay? Uh, a face like that, that shows character. Even if you knew nothing about G.I. Joe and uh, you looked at this figure and compare him to the other figures on the on the shelf, on the toy shelf, uh, this one stands out. Like I said, that you could tell there's some kind of backstory going on with this, you know, uh, messed up looking face and everything. So, uh, because there's plenty of other characters that are wearing full covered masks and uh, various types of helmets and stuff. But like I said, this guy stands out the he stands out the most. It is by far the coolest figure in the line, and uh, he is the biggest improvement. Like, you see Storm Shadow, and he does look cool, and there's different types of Storm Shadows, but or, or Snake Eyes for that matter, but they don't look like an improvement of the old. They just look like a remake, whereas this guy is a total improvement right here, you know, just, he looks great, okay? Uh, articulation on this figure is, uh, it pretty much follows the new standard, which you may like or may not like. The feet can rotate around, here let me, let me show you guys, the feet can rotate around, like so, you see, so you can twist that. And the knees actually have two points, of, two joints right there, so it's, it's actually, so that's why he could bend his knees like, more than normal like that and the legs can he could do a sidekick okay and he can bring him down and go front and he can go back and you know pretty much 360 degrees so it's awesome articulation there um, he can rotate at the waist not at the waist but more at the torso there okay and uh, I guess it just rotates does it it moves a little bit a little bit slightly to the front slightly slightly and uh, so it doesn't have that rubber band thing, which uh, is kind of neat. I, I kind of like that, you know. Um, and in the back, this is the one that I don't like, is right here. The only thing that I really don't like about these new figures is they're not backwards compatible to the old figure's uh, backpack. So that's not cool. Uh, another thing is if you know the, the old Cobra Commander, the gun, the original Cobra Commander toy, was able to attach to the back right there. Um, not the same hole, but there was like an extra... It just... It just fit like that diagonally, almost like a ninja sword or something. This one does not do that, unfortunately. So that was uh, kind of a minus for me. Definitely, uh, you know, it was disappointing. 
He has like this remote control and this uh, nano injector thingy, and these things can attach onto his legs, as you can see in there. They're removable too. And uh, this is a snake, which I, I put it on him as if it were his pet snake. Although I have a feeling that that's not what, what it is. I don't think it's his pet. I, like I said, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know. It's probably something they were just experimenting on. Um, and of course, the head articulation is is uh, is is very good. Uh, it's it's pretty much sideways. With I wouldn't say there's a uh, if there is a front and back movement, it's so slight that it you could almost like count it out. The arms itself, uh, his shoulders go up to only about there actually. They don't go higher, and he has elbow joint that goes ninety degrees. So that's his articulation. Good articulation, nonetheless. Um, you just take off that snake. And I, I really like the design of his outfit. At first, you know, he, he's wearing like this, uh, this jacket thingy. And, you know, the, the way the texture looks like, it looks like, at least on this, it looks like it's some kind of uh, uh, velvet, velvety looking. And I'm kind of like, oh, whatever. But, uh... So I, I wasn't too fond of it, but once you take it off, as you can see, I mean, he, you can really see that his chest plate and all that, it, it, it's like this cool metallic looking thing, and uh, even in the back, it, it has like, a, it almost looks like spinal cord support, and uh, it looks really cool, like I said, he looks like something out of a, a horror movie, and uh, it looks really neat. All right, so let's take a look at his uh, stand right here. Uh, on the back, it has the cobra symbol, and on the front, it you know it, it says his name, Cobra Commander, right there. The main thing to realize is it has a hole right there. So basically, this can be worn as a dog tag, which is really really cool. You know, I really like that. It's not just a stupid stand. You know, before it's like you know who really cares about these things. Now it's it's a dog tag. You know, so that that is awesome. I think that's brilliant. On top of that, it comes with this right here, which is, you know, if you know the old G.I. Joe stuff, it's it's a catalog, you know. And uh, we always like to get these catalogs, if, if uh, you remember from back when the 80s, 90s, okay. And the catalog shows, you know, all this, a uh, whole bunch of the other toys and stuff. Usually, the catalogs did not come with a figure, the single figures. It, you had to buy some kind of vehicle to get it. Uh, so this was awesome they included that. Um, really cool artwork right here on the uh, let's see if I could yeah it has really cool artwork right there um, and on the back of course trademark of G.I. Joe is you see the uh, how do you call it yeah you see the file card right there so so that's awesome again so you get a lot with this figure you get the catalog file card you get this dog tag slash figure stand Okay, and then his his own accessories, which is uh, this removable, thank goodness, the removable uh, uh, coat and his pet snake thingy, which is, I think this is very nice. Uh, this was really out of place, I think, but hey, you know, maybe he uses it in the movie. In the movie, I, I don't even know, but it seems out of place. It doesn't seem very Cobra Commander-ish. Um, and the figure itself, so... I, I got all of this. Basically, this, this figure was on sale for $5 at Walmart. So, all in all, I, I pretty much really enjoyed this figure.